banks have not been very active. I mean, they did the mortgage finance to so high end or you know, fix, you know, salary people, the easy class, right? But the banks have been very hesitant to go down to the low and informal, or I prefer to say undocumented, or irregular incomes. That's not the usual bankable part of the population. And there's a whole class of non-banks, housing finance companies, which are specialized in this business. For them, it was not a matter of choice. It was their business, right? So to address this business, they had to use a whole fintech technology. So if you see some models happening in some countries, also in Western Europe, you know, it's a whole chain of mortgage lending from the title, the uh, credit scoring, you know, underwriting the, the product, the credit, even telling the product. You don't ask everybody to repair every month. Some people can repair every six months, some people should repair every two weeks. Active debt recovery, everything, the whole business has changed thanks to the FinTech. So, Practically, it means some of these lenders we know in India, where they used to be capable to do 200, 300 loans per month, now they are doing 100 times more per month, 20,000, 30,000. The scaling up is a, that's a real answer to our problem, right? Um, given the magnitude of what we're trying to solve as a problem. So FinTech plays a role there. If, but for finance, now if you look at the whole housing chain value, Finance comes in, right? But we start from a piece of land which has a title or not a title. We end up to the end fam family, the borrower, which may have a mortgage, and the mortgage may itself be somewhere an investor buying a mortgage backed security somewhere in the world. So it's a big value chain. You think about technology, it, it is completely changing. It's a revolution of the whole housing chain value. We see now, for example, um, titling. You know, done by blockchain in some countries, right? To provide a fast, large scale and security to give the title to people, down to sophisticated products of cattle markets. And you see the whole change uh, that technology can bring. I'm sorry, so the answer is a bit long, but answer, the short answer is yes. And I hope that in Malaysia, some of the lenders on the housing finance community have already embraced, of course, adapting to your own needs, you know, uh, the, this, this, this technology.